Today's competitive world has made it mandatory that the woman shares equal responsibilities as that of a man. From being a successful homemaker to a career woman, shopping, taking care of kids and the elders at home, she has to juggle with many tasks day after day. Many a times, such a hectic lifestyle often leads to mental stress among women. Also, in trying to give her best at office and at home, they get physically fatigued because they tend to compromise on their rest hours. And as the days roll by, their health gives away. And after that, working women find themselves trying to tackle many mental and physical illnesses as well. This is where Ayurveda steps in. Come, let's see how according to the Ayurveda, should a woman lead or rather adjust a daily routine? Namaskar. Welcome to Eternal Health. Topic for today's program is Ayurveda and working women. In the ancient Vedic society, if we look at the status of woman, woman was considered as the center of the society. And this was true because she is the backbone of the society. Over the centuries, over many thousand years, our culture, our systems have changed. Now we see that woman has to work, she has to take care of the house, she has to do a lot of things, especially working women in the cities I am talking about. Because today, women are not only limited to families. They are not only limited to bringing up children, taking care of the house, maintaining the house. Consider the situation of modern working woman. She has to wake up early in the morning. There is hardly any time for her to exercise or do some yoga or even there is hardly any time for her to go for a walk because the moment she wakes up, she has a stress. She has to cook breakfast for the family, get the children ready for the school. Then she has to get ready herself. She has to think about how she is going to end up in the office. Sometimes she has to take a public transport, bus or train, long queues always. If she is driving, there is a traffic jam. It's a big pressure, you know. Women actually are not designed to take that much pressure. Technically speaking, the constitution of a woman is different from that of a man. She is not that strong. Even man is not designed to take that much pressure. But considering woman, she is little bit, you know, less in the physical strength. In this situation which I just described, a woman has to suffer continuous stress from morning till night. On top of that, if we see the emotional situation, there is more problems at that level. Woman always needs love. She needs support. But in this modern situation, when we are all occupied in our own business, in our own work, it is very difficult sometimes to even communicate properly. So therefore, there are a number of problems that a woman actually faces. And on top of that, there is a lot of artificial foods that we eat in our everyday life. All this situation actually leads to a number of diseases in the woman. She actually is not ready to cope up with so much of stress. Our bodies are technically not designed to fight continuously. We can only fight for a limited period and then we need rest to regen rejuvenate or regenerate energy. Similarly, in the case of women also, Ayurveda suggests first thing very important for them is to plan their work. The work at home, work at the office. It has to be properly planned. At Jiva Research Institute, we manufacture a very nice formula which is called Jiva Ayurvedic Tea. It is a perfect blend of very nice herbs to replace the normal caffeinated drinks, coffee or tea. And the best thing about Jiva Ayurvedic Tea is that it gives strength to the heart, it relaxes the mind and it also helps in elimination of toxins in the body. When you are under a lot of pressure, mostly there is a tension build up in this front area. And as a result of that, we can have a lot of 
serious problems like migraine, insomnia and other problems related with the forehead. That is why if you have experienced some time Ayurvedic treatments, if you will come to my Ayunik Panchakarma Center, I will give you a Shirodhara. Shirodhara is mainly, you know, recharging the front area of the forehead because here is the point for relaxing the whole of the brain. These points are connected with blood circulation and relaxation of the nerves. Eating bananas, for example, which have potassium, they will help you to build up more tissues or dhatus and milk with banana is a wonderful combination. In addition to this, the working woman should follow Ayurvedic tips which I just explained. Simple tips can make you strong and healthy and happy which is very important for the society. If woman is healthy, society is healthy. Thank you very much. Namaskar.